everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the chat. You're tuning to the Crypto Flight Edition. It is Napoleon Macro speaking. On this video, we're going to take a look at the multi time frames, the monthly candles, weekly candles, potentially even down to the daily candles. I want to go over the psychology behind what I'm seeing in the charts and how the sellers are potentially failing to follow through to the downside i may have been incorrect about my previous call about the markets may move lower at least here in the short term so hear me out i know a lot of people are saying yes the markets are about to crash but hear me out guys i actually think the market is in preparation to move higher i'm going to explain why i say that in hopefully a short video detailed video so let's get into that guys welcome back loyal family if you're new here we only explore price action thanks for sticking around on my newest subscribers let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. So, so today's uh, October the 23rd, 2022, and the current price of Bitcoin is $19,174.00, slightly negative 0.2% for the day. Okay, please kindly ignore or enjoy any noise in the background, guys. Sorry, guys, in the hotel lobby. All right, so here's the chart, guys. Monthly candles. Now, what I have on the screen is somewhat similar to what we went over on the last video. Uh, the consolidation uh, potential. Okay, we have outlined this kind of lower portion of the candles' bodies here on the monthly at about nineteen thousand, about twenty thousand ish. And of course, yeah, I've also taken a look at the uh, top portion of uh, these two candles here, the top portion, which is currently at about twenty-three thousand, about three hundred dollars. Now. In the beginning of the video, I did mention that it appears that the sellers are failing to follow through to the downside. Let me just kind of back out and show you the reason why I am saying that. Now, by not, no means am I saying that this market is ready to turn around and we're going back to 100, you know, 50,000 or anything like that. But I am seeing a potential move higher here in the short term, whether it's a long term turnaround or a uh, short-term push to the upside but again let me just explain why i say this okay now you guys know i normally typically look at the time okay how long is the market taking for it to do what it is doing or going to do right so for this example if you take a look at this uh monthly candle about april 2022 and the next candle here may 2022 and the following candle uh, June 2022 you'll notice that there is a very aggressive impulse leg to the downside yes one, two, three. Okay. So that's the sellers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as the three candles move down, very aggressive move. I guess we'll just, you know, just take a percentage. Uh, uh, how much of a percentage did it decline to the downside over the course of three months? And it's going to be about 62%. Okay. Now, I'm explaining that because after a three month 62% decline to the downside, you notice that this little green candle showed up. This means that the market moved lower and the sellers were unsuccessful at continuing the momentum to the downside either because it needs to take a breather or it is running out of momentum okay the green candle represents a little bit of buying interest coming into the market after the three uh move uh monthly candles to the downside now again i'm explaining this because if there is more aggressive selling momentum to the downside than essentially what you would see here um whether in the short term or mid term is an equivalent amount of sell strength or something, uh, whether it's equivalent or exceed the amount of sell strength that I just showed you an example of. In other words, three candles down. Yes. OK, we got a green three red candles down. Yes, we just measure that 62 percent down. Green candle shows some sort of buying interest. But if there is more aggressive selling, you would see it followed by another three yeah let's just say three at this point aggressive candles to move down so that would essentially mean that this candle here right august 2022 uh we got september 2022 and that means this third candle should at least produce i don't want to say similar guys but let's let's just say that there would be an aggressive third candle to move down let's just say about 30 percent let's just use half of what this candle uh, went down right 60 a uh, total of 62 percent out of the three candles actually let's, let's let me measure this third candle down right here guys see if i can get uh, this is all live nothing's rehearsed let's see if i can get a percentage okay so that's about 43 percent on just the third candle moved down this candle right here moved down about 43 percent approximately in uh, june okay 
So that means if the sellers still have more momentum to the downside, then they should at least produce at least half of the amount of momentum on this third impulse leg to the downside if the sellers are going to follow through here. Yes? Okay, so let's see how much of a move that would be. Uh, about 20%, so we're just going to measure from the top of this third candle and a down to about 20-ish percent to the downside. All right, so let's see. So that would be about $15,000. $15,900 to the downside, okay? So if that were to take place, that would lead me to believe that the sellers still have more momentum to the downside, whether it's going to continue for, you know, again, for the long term or it's just here in the short term. I'm not sure, guys, but what I'm seeing here is there has been uh, just under 22-ish days in this monthly candle. We have about 8 hours and 11 hours sorry, eight days and 11 hours for this monthly candle to fully develop. The market has not made a new low. Can it make a new low? Sure, I don't know if it's gonna make a new low, guys, but what I'm saying to you is, the sellers are running out of time. They need to show that they have momentum to continue the momentum, to continue the price activity to the downside. And so far this month, not only this month, but last month, they did not make a successful new low lower than the lows of June 2022. Does that make sense? OK, so uh, essentially, I think that I was wrong about the markets going to uh, setting up to continue lower here in the short term. I think here in the short term, if the sellers do not follow through to about fifteen thousand dollars and make a new low this month, then it's likely the following month we're going to get an aggressive push to the upside. We're going to break that twenty thousand dollar level again whether it is a sustainable move or not i do think that the buyers are not going out with a without a fight here in the short term so let's see how aggressive the buyers push this price up to the upside towards the end of the month my prediction is the buyers are s gearing up to make a move a bullish counter move to the upside because it appears that uh, there's a lot of um pessimism in the market people think the market is going to move lower I do think the marks will eventually move lower, even potentially sub 10K, but I don't think it's going to happen now, guys. Not when everyone thinks it's going to happen. I think Bitcoin does the total opposite uh, when people think it's about to do something. Okay. So let's see here. Here's a weekly candle. So I just pull up and chart. Excuse me. I think that um, about 20000 about $500, guys. 20500 $20,600 would not be uh, far-fetched for a potential target here over the next two to three weeks. So let's see if that can take place. That is my prediction, guys. I think the markets are setting up to move higher. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying this because I'm biased. Well, not necessarily. I gave you an explanation as to why I'm saying this. It may not be, you know, as thorough and clear enough for everyone to say, you know, be on board with what I'm saying. But it's clear to see for me, guys. The sellers are not following through so far. Can they do it towards the end of the month? Yes, absolutely. Anything's possible. But um, they had better do it or the buyers will make a bullish counter move. All right. They will, guys. Okay. Not maybe. They will. All right. 24,500 incoming within the next week up to three weeks. All right. Assuming that the uh, market respects the lows. I'm going to say the lows for now. If you guys take notes. 18,125. All right. That's the that's the recent lows here in the over the last few weeks, and um, yeah, guys, I'm I'm not seeing any uh, more momentum to the downside. Not yet, not now. Okay, I don't see Bitcoin getting any lower, guys. Not not lower than eighteen thousand one hundred, at least for the next. What are we at today? Uh, Sunday. Yeah, I don't see Bitcoin breaking down below eighteen thousand one hundred twenty-five uh, this week. All right. That's my prediction, guys. So uh, this information should last you all over until at least a week up to three weeks from now. From now, if Bitcoin is not below eighteen thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars, expect this price to rip or at least move to the upside. Twenty thousand four hundred twenty thousand five hundred incoming, guys. Twenty thousand uh, six hundred incoming. OK, so that's my prediction. Hopefully everyone, although I didn't have the numbers on the screen, pardon me for that. But um, if you stuck around to the end and you heard me out, those are my uh, numbers, guys. That's my prediction. All right. So 18, 125 up to 20,500. Be conservative, guys. If you're going to go long here, I'm not recommending go along. Okay. I am long. Okay.
Okay. But uh, this is not financial advice. 20400 Okay, that would be a reasonable area. If you are a short-term participant, it's going to be about... Uh, it's like a 7.1% move to the upside. Okay. So be conservative out there, guys. Uh, you got to take what you can. I do think, unfortunately... Bitcoin is going to get devastatingly or a huge opportunity uh, lower. Uh, yeah, sub 10K, guys. It's not confirmed just yet. I'll keep you guys up to speed or up to date as often as I possibly can. But um, unfortunately, I've seen some information that says Bitcoin is going sub 10K. But not now, guys. Look for a move higher. All right. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully this wasn't too repetitive. But we're going to close it out here, guys. And um, if you don't mind doing me a huge favor before you go. By simply leaving an appropriate thumb, I'd appreciate it below the video. And also leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote this video on the channel. Thank you for your kind support. If you guys are new, we also explored the traditional stocks from time to time. You can kind of join us here on this interesting journey. And we'll send that out to you momentarily. Thanks for putting up with the noise in the background. Sorry about that, guys. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy before you enter. Keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon. And bye for now. Guys, again.